Okay, so today I just got in my new Carla Cosmetics uh, Black Friday special in the romance package. So in this package came this beautiful romance quad, which I think a lot of these um, have come into some loose pigments in the past and it's just so convenient to have it in a nice palette. Cannot wait to try this. And I also got uh, this in Daydream. It is like a potion, like a little gel. I might try to start off with this, even though there are a bunch of, um, <laughs> there's a bunch of little uh, rectangular type instructions on each of these. Uh, and I didn't see anything for how to use this new, um, this new one, the Daydream. But I think I might start off with this and then put the romance on top. And then also this one right here, Cozy. It is also another kind of gel. And I was thinking maybe putting this more like on the inner eye um, to give it like a little pop on the inner eye. And this beautiful one here, it is called Rockabye. And it is um, like a loose pigment. And I can't wait to try this. So if you're interested in watching this and you're learning about the new Carla Cosmetics um, kits that had come out for the Black Friday, then keep watching. All right, so I'm gonna start off with this daydream and I'm gonna just use the um, top of the cap and put this on with a concealer brush. Let's see how this looks. And then I'll use another brush to kind of diffuse it. Just kind of want to see how it's gonna look. This is a one and done, that's what it looks like to me. With that and do the other side just doing it on the lid and then I'm going to brush it up with uh, a regular brush and put a little bit more on here okay now I'm gonna kind of brush it in with a Duo fiber blend, blending brush, and I will bring it up into the crease and up. Wow, this is really a one and done. Like you don't need anything um, other than this one fix. Like it is really pretty, very pretty. And um, depending on the lighting, it looks different on different parts of the eye. Like I can already see like this, this area looks really dark, but it's all one shadow. And I think it's a really beautiful thing about these very shifty type, um, duochrome type um, eyeshadows. They can be a one and done. I mean, obviously we have a whole kit here, so we're gonna try other parts of it, but I really like this. This could be a very simple, look and it is gorgeous i like how it looks exactly how we would put darker shadow on the outer edge and then a little bit darker in the crease and for some reason it looks a little bit lighter on the eyelid like it is gorgeous <laughs> one color so i do i do appreciate this <laughs> Okay, so even though um, this could be a one and done look, I am going to go into the Romance palette and just kind of put this in as a, a topper and just see how it goes. Starting off with the plummy, lightest plummy color in the group, the one that does not have the shimmer to start off with. And it really doesn't even make that much of a difference that, oh wow. So I too really enjoyed the Daydream um, potion and I had kind of stayed away from them because they looked really dark and I wasn't sure how they would work on my eyelids, but I have to say I really like it. Now I'm going to go into the darker shade. I'm going to go in on the edges, although um, that duochrome uh, Daydream color already has like, it already shows up darker on the edges naturally because of the shift. 
I'm not really even sure how that works, but it, it's very pretty. Okay, now I'm gonna go into the real pinky color, and I think what I'm gonna do with that is use my finger for this, you know, glittery type color. You can see? Putting that all over the lid. The pink glitter, gorgeous. And then I'm gonna go in with the, I kinda of wanna um, clean off my finger before I go into the light color. So I'm cleaning off my finger and I'm gonna use this white, glittery white, and I'm gonna put it right in the center just to see, you know, what kind of color payoff it has. Gorgeous, look at that shift, beautiful. Okay, I think what I'd like to do now is try some of this light, um, this very light color called um, Cozy. And I'm gonna put it more on the inner eye and we'll see how that looks. Okay, so this is Cozy. I just kinda wanna put it right on the inner corner. Beautiful. The lid looks like um, kind of an aqua, light, light aqua color, but it's coming across a little bit um, pinkish, I think. Maybe in different lights, it will show up differently. I'll have to see. But my immediate reaction is it looks a little pinky to my eye. It may look completely different on camera when I go back and I look. Pulling it into the inner portion of the eye a little bit. So in the inner area. Okay, so what I'm doing now is I'm putting a little bit of this Rockabye powder from, uh, put a little bit on the lid, um, yeah, on the lid of the container and I'm putting it in here and on the inner, on top of the cozy color. So you can see how that looks. Okay, the last thing that I want to try for the eyes from this color cosmetics is this uh, special effects glitter that came in. I am very excited to try this and I'm going to try it with the fix potion, just the clear fix um, potion with um, a brush. So I'm mixing it a little bit together so I can get it to stick and I'm going to put it right here. I just want to see how does this look? Can you see it? And maybe I'll try a little bit with my finger. See if that looks a little bit different. And we're going to do the other eye. I feel like I got some on my face. I wonder if I have to brush off a little bit. Okay, hold on in a moment. Okay, so I just looked at it in different lighting and I can really see it a lot more with a little bit darker lighting. So we're gonna try a couple of different things here and see if you can see it a little bit better. Maybe a little bit different lighting. Maybe one of these will really show up. I'll have to look at it with my eyes open, but. <laughs> okay, now uh, that I've tried that and you've gotten to really get a good look of the eyes, I am going to go ahead and do my contouring really quick. Um, I just saw this video from another YouTuber and I want to try it, I'm very excited to try it, um, a different way to contour. And what she did was she went in here like this and then when she stopped about here and then went straight down 
and then same thing here over here and then straight down and it gave a very chiseled look and then of course we got to do our normal thing up here to give some color all right we're gonna see how this looks now i am very fair so this might look a little dark Now what I normally do is I'll go in a little bit towards where the fold of the face is and make it um, so it looks a little bit flatter there. Let's see how this looks. It does look nice. I actually do like this technique. Okay. I'm not sure about the color though of this one. I do have um, one by Say S A I E that I like. I think I like the color a little bit better on my skin tone. Next time we'll try it with that. Okay, now I'm just gonna follow up with um, using this elephant palette by um, Hourglass. Just to kinda, ooh, that was bright. <laughs> kinda bright there. Oh, another trick that I saw um, was to do this, where you put a little bit of this contour right above the lip and right below the lip. We'll see how this goes. Maybe it makes the lips look a little bit bigger. All right, well, this is the final look with this. Um, <laughs> hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial on, uh, or actually not really a tutorial, more like um, just impressions of the uh, Carla Cosmetics Romance um, holiday palette, which was for um, the Black Friday special. And you got to see how one person tried using <laughs> this, this series of colors to, uh, come up with a look. Uh, sometimes we get these things and we're not really sure what to do with them and um, I look forward to seeing some other people try uh, these uh, different kinds of potions and lotions and gels and, and glitter to see how other people come up with looks with this. So if you liked, please subscribe. <laughs>